Heavenly Father, we come to you. We thank you for this time of our service that we can give back our blessings that you've given to us. We ask that you would bless these tithes and offerings, help them to be used to bring glory and honor to you and your kingdom. We ask that you be with the many, many that's on our prayer list, be with the Grable family and the passing of viewers. We pray that you would be with Pastor Lord, help his gift to heal completely that he can get home and do the things that he wants to do. Father, we thank you for the brothers, for the fathers, and ask that you would watch over all of them. Lead and guide them and help them to be the examples that you want us to be. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 <laughs> vacation Bible school. Before we get in our service this morning, it is Father's Day. I'd like to have all of the fathers please stand today. Let's give them a hand. Every year, as you may be seated, we have a tradition. Uh, we give gifts to three categories. Uh, of fathers. And we start out with the youngest father here. Do we have a father that's 25 or younger? <laughs> Do we have a father that's 30 or younger? <laughs> You're 130, Reuben. <laughs> Got one in the back. Would you come up, please? We have a gift for you. 
We're glad to have you this morning. Okay, next is the oldest father here. Reuben, stand up. <laughs> Do we have a father here that's 95? 90. Do we have a father here that's 85? Um. <laughs> we got two. Bob and George. Coach. Coach. Got three. He's 86. Oh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. You're 86, Coach? Yeah, 86. 87. How old are you, Bob? 86. Give them both one. <laughs> okay, now this is, the, this is the tough one. Uh, this is to the father with the most children present. Do we have a father here this morning that has four children present? Do we have a father here with three children present? Yes, we do. Congratulations. Well, it has been an amazing week at Atkins Baptist Church. We uh, we had, I would consider it the most blessed vacation Bible school that I've ever been involved with. And I've been in a lot of them. We had not one single bickering problem. That is amazing considering you got children and adults. <laughs> yeah. Not one bickering problem that I'm aware of. Uh, we had people that loved one another. We had all kinds of people. Matter of fact, if you participated in Vacation Bible School, if you helped in any way, would you please stand? I'm going to hold up this table. I'm going to go back real quick and just say what you did as his coordinator. <laughs> well, Picked up some trash and took some pictures. Pick up some trash. It, it's all important, Bill. I was a garbage man. <laughs> I worked in the kitchen. Don? I squirted glue for the crafts. Amen. <laughs> Carol? Uh, we talked to seven to nine-year-olds and have two in our class today. Amen. 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 I just got to get them all the money. <laughs> <laughs> Dear? That was an example of what not to turn out to be. One of the teachers in my four to six-year-olds. Amen. Linda? I work in the arts. Arts and crafts. Elaine? Okay. In the kitchen. I I help dance Amen. I activated the adults. <laughs> <laughs> activated the adults. <laughs> Kathy? I help dance in the class. Amen. Larry? Mike and I taught the ten and twelve year olds and we had four saved. Amen. Amen. I help Carolyn teach the seven to nine day class. Super. Forgot my name. Andrew. Andrew worked in the kitchen. Class. I worked in the kitchen. Joseph. Me and Richmond taught the 13th and 18th. 13th to 18th. And I helped teach. And he helped teach. You may be seated. Let's give them a hand.
God truly blessed us this week. Uh, I told the kids on Friday night, I don't want, I could have taught a lesson that would scare them out of hell. But I didn't want to scare them into heaven. I wanted to love them into heaven. And uh, fortunately, Debbie took this picture on Friday night of all the kids that came down to accept Christ. Oh, man. If you count them, you'll see there's 10 here. There's one right here in the green hat that Larry was dealing with that has 11 kids. And we had three, one saved on Wednesday, two saved on Thursday, and then 11 on Friday. And uh, it was just a sweet, sweet spirit. We talked about it in Sunday school this morning. People were saying, you know, those kids were too young. They didn't understand what they were doing. That very well may be the case for some of those young kids. But that seed was planted. When they grow up and realize if they really did not accept Christ as their Savior, they're going to know how to do it. And they're going to know what it's about. So I'm trusting in the Lord Jesus to supply the need in every one of those kids' lives. Yes. We need to pray for them, not just brag that we got so many kids saved. We need to pray for them that God would use them, keep them in the house of God, be a witness to their parents and to the children that they go to school with. Wanted to pass along a few notes. This was uh, last year. We had 81, 77, 77, 60, and 72 Monday through Friday. And then this year, and we had zero saved. This year we had uh, 102, 92, 119, 95, and 132 on Friday. And 14 saved. God is good. And I am so thankful just to have a minor part uh, in the Vacation Bible School. Thank you all so much for all the work that you did, for all the prayers, for all the food. We, it wore a lot of people out. We've got like 12 on vacation today. <laughs> that left as soon as uh, on Saturday went to the beach. Uh, but I understand that. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for what you did for Vacation Bible School. Did we have any of the kids that were saved at Vacation Bible School here with us this morning? Would you please stand if you're here? But I see we've got some families yes. that brought their children yes. to Vacation Bible School and they're visiting with us today. You are our honored guests. Thank you so much for coming and for bringing your children to Vacation Bible School. If you would this morning, turn your Bibles into the book of Malachi. 